This is Antoine Garth from the Ancient Sky, and a little while ago I did a webinar presentation on Time Lords triplicity and Triplicity Rulers and finding the leading light, or what I also like to call the light in charge. There were some questions about it. Some people contacted me via Facebook and said, hey, I'm a little confused about how to find that and about some of the stuff regarding what triplicity means, so I thought I would go come back over it and bring everybody up to speed with us. So here is the circle of the heavens or the circle of the astrology chart as well. And what you're basically doing in order to find the leading light is you're trying to find what time of day is it? Is it daytime or is it nighttime? If the sun is above this line, if so, if he's above the cusp of the first and above the cusp of the seventh, it's daytime. If he is below or once he goes below the cusp of the seventh house it's nighttime so if the sun is above the horizon it's daytime if he is not above the horizon no matter where the moon is it's nighttime did I say that right above the horizon daytime no matter where the moon is if the sun is below nighttime so let's come to this idea or concept of triplicity. Triplicity actually means element. It equals the t concept of element or the term element. And we can see here in our classical scheme of triplicity rulers, underneath the triplicity column, we've got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius representing our fire element or triplicity, our earth triplicity, our air triplicity, our water triplicity. Now, triplicity also implies the number three, right? Triple. Thus, there is this concept that there are three planets that rule or have rulership or jurisdiction over each element. Also, bringing back our concept of daytime and nighttime or diurnal and nocturnal, we have our daytime light, which is the sun, our nighttime light, which is the moon. <clears throat> but there are also planets that are diurnal or nocturnal. Our daytime or diurnal planets are Jupiter and Saturn. Our nighttime or nocturnal planets are Venus and Mars. If we look more closely at this scheme, we see that there are two daytime triplicities. Why? Here's the Sun, here's Jupiter, here's Saturn, representing the fire element or triplicity. Here's Saturn, and here's Jupiter, representing the air triplicity. Now, Mercury is a neutral planet, and he takes on the nature of whoever he is with. So, he can be easily a diurnal planet, or a nocturnal planet, a masculine planet, or a feminine planet. It all, it's all dependent on who he's with, what planet he's with, what kind of contact he's making to whom. So his neutral nature allows him to be mutable and convertible. Also, he's the ruler of the air sign Gemini. The nocturnal triplicities or elements are Earth and water. Here we see Venus, Moon, and Mars. Venus, Mars, and Moon. This is the basis behind how we do the leading light technique or how we find the leading light and then how we find the actual triplicity rulers or the rulers of that triplicity. What we would do is we would go to our chart, find out where the sun is. Let's say the sun is above the horizon. That means that it would be a daytime chart. We would then look to see what element or triplicity the sign that the sun is in. So let's say it's daytime and my sun is in Sagittarius. That would take me here to the fire triplicity. As you can also see, the order of how you would count out the 28 year span changes if it's day or if it's night. If it's daytime, the sun would rule the first, and it's, remember the sun is in Sagittarius, so he's in the fire triplicity. The sun would rule the first 28 years of life. Jupiter would rule the second 28 years. 
and Saturn would rule the third 28 years of life. Let's say that the sun is below the horizon in my chart, making it a nighttime chart. Moon is in Sagittarius. We would go to this night rulership. Jupiter would rule the first 28 years. Moon is in Sagittarius in the fire triplicity. Sun would rule the second 28 years and Saturn would rule the third 28 years. You would do the same with any chart and with any sign. You, if it's a daytime sign, if it's a daytime chart, then you would use the order of the day rulers. If it's a nighttime chart, you would use the order of the nighttime rulers. Okay, so that's a short but sweet and hopefully very helpful presentation for you. Just bringing you a little bit more up to date on how to look at this concept of Time Lords, Triplicity Rulers, and the uh, Leading Light.